But textbooks say, well, yes, there are magnetic reversals at the bottom of this mid-Atlantic ridge. Well, that's simply baloney, okay? There are no reversed polarity areas unless it's where rocks flipped over when the fountains of the deep broke open. That may have happened in some areas. But this, this is a lie talking about magnetic reversals. Even uh, one author wrote in a book, uh, Deep Crustal Drilling in the North Atlantic Ocean, Science Magazine, Volume 204, he said, it's clear the simple model of uniformly magnetized crustal blocks of alternating polarity does not represent reality. What they show you in your textbooks is not reality. Now, Walt Brown has a great book called In the Beginning. I disagree with Walt Brown on a couple of key things, and he's a friend of mine and a brilliant man, PhD in physics, taught at the Air Force Academy for years, has a website, creationscience.com, but I highly recommend his book in spite of our minor disagreements. He's got some great stuff on here on magnetic reversals. No, there are no magnetic reversals, only stronger and weaker magnetism. It's actually a jumbled up mess down there at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. See, the Earth has lost 10% of its magnetic strength in the last 150 years. It's lost 40% of its strength in the last 1,000 years. It's pretty overwhelming evidence that the Earth's magnetic field is getting weaker. What does that mean? Well, that means it used to be stronger. And if the Earth's magnetic field is getting weaker, this creates a problem because if you go back in time, about 25,000 years, the magnetic strength would have been too great for life to exist here because of the heat generated. And so the evolutionists have to find an answer for the problem. Hey, we're watching the magnetic field decline, so it must be going through reversals. It has never been observed to reverse. It's only been observed to decline. 